Okay, this one's a word problem, which can be scary, but we're given supply and demand um, functions. We are told that Y is the number of items and we're told that X is the price. So that'll come in handy in just a little bit. All right, when we're given the supply function or supply equation and the demand equation, we want to know what's the point of intersection. Well, to determine that point of intersection, we want to know when these are equal. So we're going to go ahead and set these equal to one another. So 9x plus 508 equals negative 4x plus 807. Set them equal, and now we have a linear equation. We want to solve this down by getting all the variables on one side. I'm going to elect to put these on the left-hand side by adding 4x to both sides. Combining like terms vertically, I have 9x's plus 4 more makes 13x's. Bring along the 508. These x's get to cancel, make 0. Bring along the 807. Okay, from here, we've got all the variables on one side. Let's get all the constants to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 508 from both sides. Combining like terms, those get to cancel, and we're left with 13x on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we're going to have 807 minus 508. Leaves us with 299. All right, all that remains to get x by itself is to get rid of the 13. So we'll divide both sides by 13 as those were connected with multiplication. And then 299 divided by 13 works out to be 23. Okay, that's going to be our price that was given to us, uh, where they're going to be equal, the supply and demand. We still also need to find the y value. Remember, we were looking for a point of intersection. A point of intersection is going to mean both an x value and a y value to go with that. So the y value can be determined by plugging back into either one of the original equations. If we substitute it into the supply equation, our y value would be looking like this. 9 times 23 plus 508, which works out to be y equals, we'll multiply first, so 207 plus 508. Our y value is going to be 715. The alternative to this is we could have used the demand function instead. We could have said y is going to equal negative 4 times 23 was our x value, plus 807. Again, we'll multiply first, negative 92, plus 807. Our y value also works out to be 715. Either way, we should get the same answer, and that's one good way you can double check to make sure you didn't make any mistakes along the way. Next, let's answer these follow-up questions. What's the selling price when the supply and demand uh, are in equilibrium? Well, the selling price was our value for x. So we can say, well, it was at 23, and our units were going to be in dollars. And what's the amount of items in the market when supply and demand are at, are at equilibrium? That was our y value, the number of items. So we can answer that as being 715. All right, hope this helps out as you're working on supply and demand and figuring out points of equilibrium. Good luck.